Hey, good morning. It's Matt Gable. I wanted to do a quick video on um, something that's kind of been bothering me um, about the Better Business Bureau. So those of you, a lot of you who follow me or watch my videos don't know that uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I own a couple companies. Um, one happens to be a diamond jewelry uh, business. We actually help people sell and consign goods, diamond goods, that um, can be difficult to sell. A lot of people don't know how to do that. So we've created a consignment company. We've been doing it for about 12 years. Fairly successful at it. So um, the Better Business Bureau, I, I think if you're a company looking to get credibility, the Better Business Bureau can be good for you. Um, we were a member for, oh, geez, nine, eight, nine, ten 10 years. Um, and, and then about three years ago, I decided to end my relationship with the Better Business Bureau. And here's why. There's actually two main reasons why I decided to cut ties with them. Um, one is they don't tell you this up front, but any reviews that people leave for you will only stay on the site for three years. So if you get to a point where you've got 30, 40, 50 reviews and you're two and a half, almost three years in, then following year, the first year of reviews will start dropping off. Um, I guess they feel that they're not relevant I don't think that that helps a business. I think if you're paying for the accreditation and to uphold yourself to a certain standard, that those reviews should stay there, but they don't. The other reason, um, so they, they won't change that. I did have a phone call with them. I asked them to change that policy. They, they said, no, that's not what they do. And you pay a yearly fee to be accredited by the Better Business Bureau, basically saying that you're it following these standards and upholding yourself to a different standard in ethics, which we do anyways. And then there was a um, second reason. This is the, probably the biggest reason um, that we left. We had found out that there's a couple companies in our area um, that we were watching pretty closely that are somewhat competitors of ours that were misleading and lying to the public and they had created other websites in, in, in names that couldn't be tracked back to their business that, that ranked everybody in their business, in their field, poorly and put them as number one. So let's say you're a plumber in Rochester, New York, and they decided to do bestplumbers.com they created this website and they put all the other plumbers in the area as crap plumbers, one star, they, they faked reviews, and then they put their company up top, best in class, best in business. We delivered this information to the Better Business Bureau. They investigated it, said that they could draw the correlation, but there's really not much they can do. Meanwhile, this company that I'm talking about is still paying for their membership to be accredited. And they're an A-plus accredited Better Business Bureau company. That pisses me off. I told them I refuse to um, support the Better Business Bureau if we're supposed to be held to a certain standard, but yet the Better Business Bureau isn't held by the same standards. I'm not going to allow a company to pay for their credibility or pay for their reputation when all these other companies are doing the right thing, paying the same fees and price and doing things the right way ethically. Um, the company was also falsely advertising things. They were um, just doing a ton of shady stuff that they should not be doing. And then they would also bury reviews, bad reviews. They would. There's a black hat company out there that you could hire to write reviews for you and write bad reviews for your competitors. They were doing that. I mean, this company went from like six reviews to 80 reviews in a month when you physically can't have that many people in your in your facility. But anyways, whatever. I decided I wasn't going to deal with it anymore um, and pay for an accreditation. So we are still Better Business Bureau listed. My company still has an A-plus rating. But get this. We had like 50, 60 Better Business Bureau reviews in the years of doing business. And remember, they drop off every three years. I think we're down to one left. We've got one review left. And I had a client not too long ago ask me, 
why do you only have one review on your Better Business Bureau? You guys have got reviews all over the place. You have got a great reputation, but why does the Better Business Bureau only have one review? I had to explain to them because they removed them after three years. No other platform does it. Google doesn't, Yahoo, Bing, Yext, Super Pages. None of them remove reviews. Well, there's one that doesn't necessarily put the reviews up, which is, I think it's Yelp, which is the absolute worst uh, directory, online directory there is out there. They are, they're bad news bearers. But, um, so if you stumbled upon this video looking for, you know, the real facts about the Better Business Bureau, I mean, it can be, they can be good. Um, I, to be quite honest with you, since we've dropped them, I haven't really noticed a difference in business or gaining clients, except for obviously that one. Um, but I just refuse to support an organization that doesn't believe in the standards that they're asking us to uphold. So hope you found this helpful. That's my skinny on the Better Business Bureau. If you've got questions about them since we were with them so long, um, feel free to drop them below. I do answer all my questions or email us or email me. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.